In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on September 3rd, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Idaho vs. Washington State The Washington State Cougars and Idaho Vandals do battle in Week 1 of college football action at Martin Stadium on Saturday. The Idaho Vandals are coming off a 4-7 season and enter the first year under coach Jason Eck. The Washington State Cougars are coming off a 7-win season and enter Year 2 under coach Jake Dickert. The Vandals are 2-6 against the spread in their last 8 road games and 1-5 against the spread in their last 6 non-conference games. The Cougars are 4-0 against the spread in their last 4 home games and 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 games overall. The over is 7-3 in Vandals' last 10 games overall. The under is 5-1 in Cougars' last 6 non-conference games. The Idaho Vandals take on the Washington State Cougars in some Pac-12 after dark action. This is the first game of the season for both teams. Washington State is coming off a 7-5 season in which they had a new head coach. This will be year two under coach Jake Dickert, and some are optimistic about this season. Idaho won only three games last season. They played two FBS opponents and lost 56-14 to Indiana and 42-0 to Oregon State. The Vandals are 1-9 straight up and 4-6 against the spread in their last 10 games against FBS opponents. The Idaho Vandals have a new quarterback and coaching staff, so it could take some time to adjust to the regular season. The Washington State Cougars may have issues defensively, but there's serious potential offensive and we could see a lot of points this season. I'm not sure Idaho has the horses to hang for 60 minutes. The Vandals just don't have the talent to keep up with an FBS roster, even if it is a mediocre team like Washington State. It may not be pretty at all times, but this is a game Washington State should win comfortably. Plus, the Cougars are 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 games and should keep that going in this game. So the Washington State to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Washington State defense may be able to keep Idaho off the board early, but after some time and when the backups get in, the Vandals should get on the board. Idaho is not likely to be able to stop Washington State at all, so when Idaho starts scoring, the score should get past the total. Washington State has hit the over in four of its last five games dating back to last season, and Idaho has hit the over in three of their last five games against FBS opponents going back to 2018. Look for Washington State to go up big early then call off the dogs and allow Idaho to score enough to get past this total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Kent State vs. Washington The Washington Huskies will begin a new era when they host the Kent State Golden Flashes on Saturday night in Seattle in the 2022 season opener for both teams. Kent State went an even 7-7 seven in 2021 in the fourth year under head coach Sean Lewis, winning the Mid-American Conference East Division title along the way. Washington had a miserable 4-8 campaign a year ago, leading to the quick dismissal of head coach Jimmy Lake in favor of Kalen DeBoer, previously of Fresno State. This is the first all-time meeting between the two teams. Kent State is 1-4 against the spread in their last five non-conference games and 2-8 against the spread in their last 10 road games. The Flashes are 2-6 against the spread in the last eight in September. Meanwhile, the Huskies are 5-2 against the spread in their last seven non-conference games and 3-11 against the spread in their last 14 overall. Washington is 1-4 against the spread in their last five at home. The Golden Flashes were great offensively last season because they had a balanced attack that picked up a lot of yards in the air and on the ground. Even though they lost quarterback Dustin Crum, they are very deep at the running back position and they're facing a defense that wasn't very good last season, especially against the run, so expect them to keep the ball on the ground. Washington struggled last season after starting the year ranked 20th. They weren't very good offensively and brought in Kalen DeBoer to fix their offense. Even though Penix JR will flourish in this offense, they are thin at the running back position, which will force them to throw the ball more than they would like and play into Kent State's hands. The bad news for the Flashes 
advantages is that they've got a significant amount of turnover this season. The good news is that they've got a solid offensive system in place and should be competing for another division championship and bowl game appearance if all goes well. Kent State should have a great rushing game once again this year, even after losing just about everybody on the offensive line. With the departure of Dustin Crum, the Flashes also get a new quarterback in Colin Schley who will try to fill the void. He'll have a nice set of receivers to choose from though. All things considered, Kent State will be one of the more intriguing teams in the conference this season. With the Golden Flashes having the ability to put up a lot of points, I don't see the Huskies blowing them out in this game. So the Kent State Golden Flashes to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Lewis has brought an ultra quick tempo to Kent State, which piled up 77.5 plays per game last year and was even faster than that in previous campaigns. On the other side, expect a lot more tempo and creativity from Washington compared to last season as well, with the Boers Fresno State teams running a top 30 pace while consistently getting great production from their quarterbacks. The pass defense was elite for Washington last year, but the run defense was torched for 4.9 yards per carry and currently has a couple injuries to deal with ahead of a matchup against a strong opposing running back in Cooper. The Golden Flashes averaged 33 points per game last season and they have a lot of their starters coming back. They are great at running the ball, which was a weakness for the Huskies last season, so expect them to exploit Washington's run defense and score a lot of points in this game. The Huskies weren't great offensively last season, averaging 21.5 points per game. They brought in a new head coach and some talented offensive players and they are facing a defense that gave up more than 35 points per game last season. I believe that this game has the makings of a shootout. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Boys State vs. Oregon State The Boys State Broncos collide with the Oregon State Beavers in a non-conference Week 1 battle on Saturday evening. The Broncos went 7-5 last year and 6-3 in conference play. The Beavers lobbed a 7-5 record and a 5-4 mark in conference action. These foes last met in 2016 in a game Boys State won 38-24. The Boys State Broncos went 7-5 last year and it still felt like a down year. The Broncos haven't had a losing season since 1997 and were able to keep that streak alive last season. The standards are higher in Boys State and 7-5 won't be acceptable for another season. The Broncos struggled at the line of scrimmage. The offensive line underperformed, and the Broncos didn't allow quarterback Hank Bachmeyer to get in a rhythm. Meanwhile, Boys State has lost Kyle Shacker, who was drafted by the Buffalo Bills, but this team still figures to have a ton of playmaking ability as long as the offensive line can hold up. Oregon State is starting to trend in the right direction after losing to Utah State in the Jimmy Kimmel L a bowl. They made a bowl game and that was important to the program. Last year, the pass protection was just as inadequate as Boys State's, but the run game was way more effective. Chance Nolan, who will get the start at quarterback, is capable of scrambling around the field to make plays. Oregon State also has a solid backfield of runners who can produce. Both offenses should have a solid game to start the season and Oregon State's inability to stop the run on defense should eventually hurt them. So the Boys State Broncos to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Oregon State announced Chance Nolan as the starter for the opening game at home. He threw for 2,677 yards, 19 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions last year. And, just like the Beavers, played much better in the confines of Research Stadium. They get back three starters on the offensive line, but the boys' state front is stingy, and rushing yards will be tough to come by. They have one of the better defensive units in the Mountain West, leading the conference in scoring D last year with a slew of returning starters. Although points will be scored here, I cannot see both teams eclipsing the inflated total. As long as we get some scoring drives ending in field goals, they should stay well under this total. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.